Hi, this is Ian Buckley and you are watching MakeUseOf.com. Today we're going to look at how to password protect folders in Windows. Uh, this is taken from an article on our website written by Brad Jones and we're going to go through a few of the different ways that this is possible. So let's jump in. The first option we have is uh, one that is actually natively available with Windows but only if you have Windows 10 Professional Edition. Um, and uh, the way you do it quite simply, uh, you find your folder which has your super secret list or whatever in that you want to keep secret, uh, right click on it and go down to properties. Within the properties menu, select advanced and then down here at the bottom it says you can encrypt contents to secure data. Um, when you do this, uh, if you press OK, the next time you press OK, it'll give you another prompt just to ask if you want it to also be uh, available to the subfolders and files so that the entire thing is encrypted. Click OK and you'll see a little logo here that shows that it is now locked. Uh, now, if I click on this, it'll open uh, simply because um, I, this is my user on this version of Windows. Uh, what this does is it encrypts it from other users. So uh, this isn't necessarily something that'll be useful if this is a shared computer. It's just something worth knowing about that Windows does actually have its own native version. Our next option is a secret folder. Uh, all of these third party options uh, are linked in the main article on the Make Use Of website. There'll be a link to the article in the description. Uh, with secret folder, uh, when you open it for the first time, it prompts you for a password and it also asks you for a recovery email address. Once you've entered those details, the program will open and uh, it's pretty simple to use. Uh, you just click add and uh, then navigate to the folder that you want to hide. So uh, in this case, I'm looking for the protected folders. I'm looking for a secret folder. Press OK, and uh, you'll see it's been added to the list here. Um, and uh, it's already gone. It's already disappeared. Uh, so uh, uh, the way that this works is uh, now if you close this program, um, it's invisible. Nobody can see it. And the only way that you can open it again is by opening secret folder. The only way to get into secret folder is by typing your password. And then to unlock it again, you just click unlock, and it will reappear. Uh, and it's a simple way of hiding folders. Now, um, I don't know exactly how secure this is. Uh, I don't know if this is something that you're hiding state secrets. You might not want to use something like this, but for a free option, it's pretty good. Up next, we have Secret Disk. Uh, this is another program uh, which is free, and uh, the first time you open it, um, it asks you to choose a PIN. Um, and again, another email address for recovery. And that sets your PIN. Please do not forget your pin. <laughs> now, uh, this one works in a sort of similar way to secret folder, although rather than it just uh, locking and hiding the folder, it creates an entire virtual secret disk for you to use. Um, so uh, in this instance, it's gonna be uh, uh, Z, and I'm gonna give it a name of just secret, because I'm very original. And uh, there's a few things you can do. Uh, for, for example, you can set a password, so I'm just gonna set a simple password here. Um, and uh, right now, uh, this disk, you can't see it, it doesn't exist, but if you select Open Disk, um, it'll say disk has been opened and visible, and if you refresh your Explorer, you will see we now have a disk called Z. So the way this works is you just take the data you want to hide, cut it and paste it into there, and then click Go Back. Uh, as soon as you're ready and you want to hide the disk again, you just click Close Disk, and it will disappear. Now, uh, once this disk has disappeared, you can simply exit the program, and uh, there's no way anyone could see it. Um, even if they knew you were using a program like Secret Disk, when you open it again, of course, you need your PIN to log in. Um, and if you want to open this disk, again, you'll need to enter that password. There we go. Uh, so now, when I click Open Disk, uh, it should once again appear in Explorer, and here are my secret files. Up next, we have Easy File Locker, and this is something that works sort of similarly to the things we've looked at before. Um, I have a folder here called Easy File Locker, and inside I have all of my banking details. Uh, so I want to keep this safe, obviously, and the way you do that is simply by going to Add Folder and uh, navigating to where this folder is. So I have Easy File Locker here, um, and now it says, you know, this can be accessible, writable, deletable. I'm just going to turn all of this off. Um, and I don't want it to be visible either, so I'm going to press OK. And now it's been added to the Easy File Locker, and as you can see, it has disappeared from the folder that it was in before. Uh, much like the other programs, if you want to, you can set a password. Um, you can just do that by opening the Set Password uh, window here. And so I'm going to add a password 
and I've successfully set a new password and much like the other programs, if you quit out of it, um, there's no way anyone's gonna be able to see that folder now. If you open it up again, it's gonna prompt you, prompt you for the password before you get in here and to see the file again, it's as simple as it was before. You can just open this up uh, and say okay and that will bring it back. Or if you no longer want it to be part of the Easy File Locker program, you just simply remove it. And finally, we will be looking at My Lockbox. So uh, on opening up My Lockbox, much like the other ones, um, it asks you for a password, um, hint, uh, hi, and an email address. The first time you open My Lockbox, it will uh, prompt you for a folder if you haven't already set one. Um, or um, if you're like me and you have opened it before already, you can just set a new folder by going to Set Folder and uh, going to where you want to have your folder protected. So in this case, I have a folder called My Lockbox. Inside it, I have my embarrassing school memories. And simply, if I want to protect it, I just click Lock. Um, now that this is locked, uh, much like the other ones, it's disappeared. I can empty. Uh, I can get rid of that window. Um, there's actually two options for my lockbox. If you uh, double-click on my lockbox itself, it will prompt you for the password, um, and it shows you this, which is a sort of explorer version of things they have themselves. Uh, you can uh, use this in order to choose uh, if, which place you want to uh, lock. Um, I don't quite understand the point of this particular part of it, but if you click on open my lockbox control panel, or you just go straight to the control panel, it will bring you back by password to exactly the same place we were before. And once again, if you want to lock or unlock the folder, uh, you can just click lock or unlock. It is worth noting that when I opened this browser, um, it unlocks the folder automatically, which is why you can now see it without me having to physically click unlock here. So that's about it for this video. Um, quickly going through just a few of the ways you can protect a folder in Windows. Um, with all of these things, these are simple ways of hiding a folder from someone else. I wouldn't necessarily trust this with important corporate uh, data or anything truly important, but they are useful ways to hide a folder. Um, but they do just hide it. Uh, if you want to fully encrypt a folder, you need to use a piece of software designed for that. Um, one thing I could suggest is AxeCrypt. We're not affiliated with them in any way. It's just one that I have friends and I know that they use it and they say it works well. Um, but I hope this video helped you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Make Use of YouTube channel for more weekly tech tips and giveaways. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.